Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 217. Erythrocyte Sedimentation Rate. What is erythrocyte sedimentation rate and how does it work? The way erythrocyte sedimentation rate works is that product of inflammation such as fibrinogen will coat to the RBCs and this will cause the RBCs to aggregate. When the RBCs are aggregated, they become heavier and they will fall down at a faster rate within the test tube. So erythrocyte sedimentation rate is one way of detecting inflammation. What are the conditions that would lead to increase in erythrocyte sedimentation rate? Erythrocyte sedimentation rate will increase in infections inflammation such as in temporal arteritis, cancers, pregnancy, and lupus. Name some conditions that would lead to a decrease in erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate would decrease in sickle cell anemia due to the altered shape of the RBCs, also in polycythemia and congestive heart failure, the erythrocyte sedimentation rate would decrease. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.